Welcome to Dark Creation Studios. In this video, we'll be showing you guys how to import your animation from Procreate into Procreate Dreams. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we already have Procreate open. So that's what you want to do first. You want to locate your file, your animation file in Procreate first. Now we go and hop over to Procreate Dreams. Okay, so we end Procreate Dreams right here. So the next thing you want to do, you want to click on um, the plus icon right there on the right hand side. Here you will see you have widescreen here and most likely you will click this option. If that is the size format your, um, your animation from Procreate is, you just click on this one. But for us, we're going to scroll down. And we're going to click on this square here because that is the size um, our animation is in. So we could go ahead and click on empty. Once you clicked on empty, you'll be able to see your scene right here. But now we go and um, take our finger and we just go and drag up at the bottom until you see this arrow. And you can see right here we have the Procreate icon. So we go and click on hold our finger on the icon and we go and drag it over to the right hand side until we see a split screen. So right there you could see the split screen and also you could see the animation as well. So for our own we have um, bouncing ball. So we go and click on hold and we just go and drag that in to Procreate Dreams. And right here from the screen you could see it say important. But you go and kind of load in for a bit so we go and um, speed through this part until everything in. Alright so it finished important so we could go ahead and take our finger and we could just drag the split screen away off to the right. Okay, so as you could see down below here on the timeline, we have our animation. So what we could do, we could go ahead and click the play icon to play it. And I noticed that it's playing like faster than the one I had in um, Procreate, but we can, we'll go in there and slow that down later on. Next, we will zoom in a bit and we will take our finger and click on hold on the animation on the timeline until we bring up this menu. And then after that, we could go ahead and we will click on ungroup. Next we will zoom in. So as we zoom in you could see we have two separate layers. We have the one on top for the ball and the one below that for the background. And I notice the background color change when we import it in but you know you could always um, import just the background color later on. So we just go and turn off the background. And then if we um, click through here on the top layer you could see all the frames of the ball animation right here. So pretty cool. And another thing that's cool, if we go here and we click on the brush scribble, and then we drag the screen down, we will enter into the flipbook mode. And in the flipbook mode, you could see you have your frames down below as well. And better yet, if we go up to the top and we click on the two sheets of paper for the layers, you could see we have um, all our layers that make up this drawing. So you could choose to turn off anything in here, like if you want to turn off the colors, you can. But we will click done above to exit the flipbook mode. Afterwards, we can take four fingers and click on the screen to make it full screen. Then we can click on the play button to play it. And like we said before, you could see the animation moving a bit fast. So an easy way to fix this is um, first we will click on um, Dream 1 to head into the settings. Then we will go to properties and instead of having it on 24 frames per second which is the FPS, we will set it to 15 FPS. Alright cool. And this is just um, you know, to slow down the animation. But me, usually I wouldn't do this because it's best to have your animation playing at 24 frames per second. You can duplicate all the frames to a certain length. That way you slow down the animation while still having it run at 24 frames per second. But we will do this to save time. Next we will click on the timeline and set the playback mode to loop. And we can click done. And now we can preview the animation. And as you can see, it's playing much better now. But that's pretty much it for the video. This is how you import your animation from Procreate into Procreate Dreams. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed, and we hope to see you guys on the next one. Alright, see ya.